Muir. Good morning. We're coming on the air with breaking news from the Supreme Court at this hour. The justices handing down the highly anticipated ruling on abortion and the fate of the landmark Roe versus Wade decision. This is a majority opinion written by Justice Samuel Alito, very close to what was leaked several weeks back. The justice is saying we hold that Roe and Casey must be overruled. I want to bring in Terry Moran, who has covered the Supreme Court for many years. Terry, bottom line, what has the court said this morning? Bottom line, Roe versus Wade is overruled. There is no constitutional right to an abortion in this country anymore as of today. Justice Samuel Alito in, as you say, uh, an opinion that tracks very, very carefully, as far as I can see at this point, uh, with the opinion that was leaked, the draft opinion, says without question, it is time to heed the Constitution and return the issue of abortion to the people's elected representatives. Again and again, he knocks down in this opinion, as he did in his draft opinion, the claim that there is a right to choose an abortion in the right to privacy or the right to liberty under the Fourth Amendment. He says that at the adoption of the 14th Amendment and the Constitution, abortion was a crime in this country, and that there was no talk about a constitutional right to an abortion until the latter part of the 20th century. He says that this court does not have to abide by the Roe versus Wade precedent because it was so wrong, because it has not settled the issue. And he says, without question, it is time now to return the issue to the people, which will open the doors, obviously, to all kinds of legislation and uh, laws that have already been passed and are now good law in those states which uh, passed so-called trigger laws. As soon as this opinion comes down, uh, abortion is outlawed in many states in this country. The bottom line, once again, just as it was in Justice Alito's draft opinion, uh, this is an opinion that from now on, there is no more constitutional right to an abortion in the United States. You know, it's interesting, Terry, because initially in this opinion that had been leaked, Justice Alito had written previously that we cannot allow our decisions to be affected by any extraneous influences such as concern about the public's reaction to our work, talking about any reaction actually to that leak or, or what could happen if this ruling came down. And it would seem uh, in delivering the same opinion today that that's exactly what they've done here. They've ignored any potential public reaction to this. That's right, David. There, there was some question when the l draft opinion was leaked. Boy, this sounds uh, very uh, absolute and extreme. His tone uh, that Roe is egregiously wrong, uh, that any constitutional right must be located in our country's history and traditions. People were concerned about how that might impact gay marriage and other rights that are not specified in the Constitution. It, it looks to me like he doesn't pull back from any of that. Now, there is a concurrence uh, by Chief Justice Roberts. He concurs in the judgment, so he doesn't sign on to all that, but it looks like five justices do. So this is not only overturning Roe, but overturning the entire approach to constitutional law. That just because something might not have been a, a constitutional right when the Constitution was written in 1787, uh, it, perhaps the generalities in the Constitution can be read to guarantee these rights to uh, people marrying people of the same sex, to constitutional right to choose abortion. Contraception isn't mentioned in the Constitution either. It does seem that this opinion uh, opens the door not just to overruling Roe versus Wade, but to other rights that many Americans have taken for granted that are based on the same reasoning, that the Constitution can evolve.